Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I decided to do a quick video on Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This is the European version of the phone and it has 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. As you can see, I've been using this phone for the past week now, but I decided to do a quick video. Let's see what's inside the box. We have the sticker here that was on the front of the phone. As you can see from the box, here we have only the paperwork and the SIM ejection tool. And also the Type-C cable, which is Type-C on both sides. But I want to mention that I'm using the Google Pixel 5a charger for this phone and it does the job very good. This is the quick start guide. Yeah, some usual paperwork. So, for the phone itself, here we have a quad camera setup with the main sensor being 108 megapixels. We have a periscope telephoto lens of 10 megapixels. We have an also telephoto lens with 10 megapixels. And we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. While the front facing camera is 40 megapixels. Now, you basically know everything about this phone. This is the latest and greatest from Samsung and I believe that this phone is a great successor of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now having seen this phone and having seen the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, I still cannot believe how far Samsung has gone with this phone. One of the main features of this phone is 100x zoom that this phone has and I must say that camera quality on this phone is great. I mean, this phone is also optimized for social networks like TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, etc. And as you can see, it's very fast. This is a normal photo with the wide angle camera. And as you can see here, it's the city timeline. But if I swipe here to the right, you will see a photo of 100x zoom. And this building is 30 kilometers away from the point of where I'm staying and to imagine that it has a great stabilization in 100x I mean what do you want more from a phone this phone has a display of 120 Hertz and the screen resolution goes up to 1440p so we have a 2k display with 120 Hertz refresh rate also another cool feature on this phone is the S Pen and the sensitivity, it's amazing. I've checked this S Pen with some of my friends that mainly do design works and they say that this is a great pen and it has a great sensitivity. I mean, just look. It's great. So let me just do a quick drawing here of my name. You can also use the S Pen to swipe through videos. Let me just do a quick demonstration. Okay, so as you can see, I'm watching a video now. Let's go full screen. You need to push the button here and swipe to the right. And as you can see, we just went to, a, to the other video. If we swipe up, we can see the functions here. Double press to play next track, single press, play and pause. Also another way to use the S Pen is if we set the phone in a distance and we want to use the phone to make a photo. We can set up, press the button here. And as you can see, we just did a photo. If we swipe to the right, we switch from photo to video. We can go on more. And as you can see, this is a great feature to have. Another cool feature I want to mention, since we are on the camera app, it's the capability to shoot to full HD 60 frames per second. This is nothing new, but we can do super steady on with 60 frames per second and the image quality will be great. This is the closest as we can get to a gimbal, but without using one, if you know what I mean. We can record only on 0.6 and 1x on the super steady mode with 60 frames per second. You can also do 8K videos and if you want to record to 8K you, you will need a phone gimbal or 
a minimum requirement will be a tripod because the image won't be steady enough if you record holding the phone like this. When we go on more, I have seen that another cool feature here on more, basically there are two cool features here, is the portrait video and director's view. Director's view, it's cool if you are recording to an event and you want to see on both sides. Portrait video, it's great if you are doing if you are doing something like a vlog. Also, this phone is great for gaming and it can handle games very good. You can play the heaviest game on Play Store here and it won't be a problem for this phone considering that this phone has the Exynos processor. I've seen some of you guys say that Exynos processor is bad but I've played a lot of games here on this phone and the processor is good and it doesn't overheat the phone. Speakers here are amazing. As you saw, the gameplay is great. Also, one other thing great about this phone is the display. The resolution of this phone display is great. The viewing angles are great. Okay, so I paused the video to add something else. Another feature of this phone is the zoom in mic capability. Basically, when we are recording a video, if we zoom the video, we can also zoom in the microphone. Let's see the demonstration here. I don't know about you guys, but the sea waves, the guy playing the clarinet there, awesome sound. Very, very good microphones. In easy words, this is the best phone out now. And I like this phone better than the 13 Pro Max. 
not for the fact that I am an Android guy or something like that because I use basically all of the phones to be honest with you I'm recording this video on an iPhone 8 plus I use S22 Ultra I use the pixel I use everything but to me this is the best phone now the best way to use this phone it's by not using it with a screen protector I'm using this phone like this without a case and without a screen protector the fingerprint sensor it's great works 100% of the times and is very fast also the face unlock is very fast Now before ending the video, I also want to mention that Android 12 on this device, it's running very smooth and it has a lot of cool features. My most liked features on Android 12 are the capability to turn off camera access and microphone access from all of the apps at the same time. These are all of the toggles, as you can see here. Another cool feature is Samsung DeX, because this phone can support wireless DeX. I already made a video about that with Z Fold 3. Also, another thing is power sharing. Power sharing of this phone is faster than the Z Fold 3. I'm saying this because I use the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra to charge up the 8 Plus that I'm recording the video now and I also tried it with the Z Fold 3 and the conclusion was that the S22 charged the iPhone much more faster than the Z Fold 3. So wireless power sharing, S22 wins. This phone has everything that you want from a flagship phone, it has a great camera, it has a great performance, great display, great battery, fast charging, power sharing, wireless power sharing, wireless DeX, it has a lot of things, it has a Bluetooth S Pen, it has everything that you want from a flagship phone. And the price of this phone is around 1000 euros or equivalent to 1300 US dollars, depending on the storage option that you choose. But if you are going to get this phone, I recommend you get the 12 gigabyte version with 256 gigabytes of storage at least because if you shoot 4K 60 frame videos here or if you shoot an 8K video, you are that type of guy, you will need a lot of storage. And with that being said, I want to thank you for watching this video. I will see you on the next one.